Howdy, my name's Cloudy, and today we are about to find out about the bizarre UFOs discovered at the edge of the world. Check Picture the scene. You're at a remote outpost, or you're exploring some far off corner of our world, when you notice something that doesn't seem right. Flashing lights, a hovering shadow, a seeming change in air pressure. While some of the most infamous UFO sightings happen in densely populated areas or in known UFO hotspots, many of the most bizarre and intriguing unfold amidst much more isolated circumstances. This is Unveiled, and today we're taking a closer look at UFOs discovered at the very edges of the world. Do you need the big questions answered? Are you constantly curious? Then why not subscribe to Unveiled for more clips like this one and ring the bell subscribe, for more thought-provoking content. Your boy, Cloudy. Leave a like if you, like if you more were piloting videos, a UFO, you like where videos, would you go if you wanted to avoid being discovered? No matter your end game, <coughs> how would you hide from watching eyes? <coughs> Clearly, there are some locations on Earth that are better suited than others. <coughs> the way you hide from watching eyes, bro, is never go outside the house and leave your blinds and everything closed, bro. Keep your air conditioning on and all that, bro. That's how you stay away from it. Antarctica you know is saying? unmatched Trust in terms me, of mystery and isolation. Trust Humans have only traveled here consistently for the last 200 years. The maximum population today is still just 5,000 people. He's in Antarctica? This That's puts the said, whole right? of Antarctica as roughly on par with an average-sized town. But with those residents Bro, scattered always... across an entire continent, there's an... Bro, I always thought Antarctica had, like, all the UFO stuff there, bro. I'm like, bro, nobody... Bro, think about it. Nobody can really go here unless you're, like, NASA or Marine or something like that. You know what I'm saying? And... Well, you, you can't just fly there, you know what I'm saying? They're not gonna just let you fly to Antarctica. Bro, I think they hide everything over, bro. Nobody lives in Antarctica. I don't know, bro, nobody lives out there, bro. I don't think nobody lives out there, bro. So this is the perfect place to hide everything. You know what I'm saying? Extremely low population density, which means that those who are there have plenty of opportunity to feel as though they're cut off from the rest of civilization. Perhaps UFO oh, people sightings do live are to be expected then. What and the there hell? certainly have been what cases. They eat? despite certain aspects of Antarctica also bucking the usual UFO trend. Everyone who does live here is a scientist or researcher, and That's arguably less likely than some to believe in UFOs to begin with. Airplanes of any sort are a rare That's sight here, mostly because of the weather they conditions and a lack of infrastructure. While some planes do cross Antarctica, usually to ferry those scientists to their stations, there are generally far fewer things in the sky which means that there are far fewer known aircraft that could be misidentified. And seeing True. as Antarctica no has been demilitarized for decades, there aren't, or shouldn't be, any classified aircraft flying around either. And yet again, Bro. various UFO claims have been made. More often than not, Antarctic UFO candidates are located by the watching public rather than those on the ground. Enthusiasts scouring satellite images, usually via Google what? Maps and Google Earth, for anything seemingly out of the ordinary. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I'm starting not to trust cameras, bro. Because every time we, bro, every time we catch something that we never thought was real on camera, bro, it's the worst quality on the planet, bro. It's like our quality is like dated back to the zeros. You know what I'm saying, bro? Like I don't know why every time we catch a ghost, an alien, UFO, Sasquatch, Bigfoot, a megalodon, a Loch Ness monster, mermaids, and all them type of things bro our quality is potato bro like i don't know what it is but they gotta have powers or something like that and able for them to like always blur the camera when they get caught on camera something gotta be going on with for that example bro, for real. in 2018 images Likewise, of an look. apparently unusual cylindrical object spotted on antarctica were posted know, online that's pretty HD, it was long bro, thin lot. and had clearly traveled some distance as you could see a trail made by it in the surrounding snow Maybe Immediately, an questions were raised. Could this be a non-human craft? Was it something that had crashed down onto Antarctica? How likely then that it would be photographed? The it might be an animal or something like that, or a boat. Hey, y'all, go play Spider-Man. They are, I ain't gonna lie. The claims of UFO were loud, although skeptics disagreed. In a wider shot of the object in the snow, there are remnants of a seeming rock slide or avalanche behind it. There were also other similarly shaped objects that just hadn't traveled quite as far. The counter to rocks, UFO bro. claims emerged strongly then that what the 2018 image actually showed was simply an especially large piece of rock that had slid especially mm. far down along an icy slope. 
The wider angle images are proof of that. But what do you think? It still don't take away the fact that these mother bro, they can hide so much stuff in Antarctica, bro, and we would never know about it, bro. They can give us all of these images. You really think they ain't seen these images yet? You know what I'm saying? They knew what this was, so they was like, bro, we ain't worried about it. They ain't really catch nothing. Everything is cool. Have y'all even, bro, y'all know we always finding new things under the ice, bro? Y'all think they ain't drill, bro? Y'all ever watch Batman, bro? His whole entire cave is underground, bro. You don't think they can do that in Antarctica, bro? Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Let us know in the comments. There's Elsewhere, ice in there water. Other and it doesn't melt. Spotted from the skies over How Antarctica is that even possible, well. bro? They include more. Bro, Antarctica is all ice, bro, on top of water. How is that ice not melting, bro? You let me know that, bro, and I'll be Examples of alleged spaceships, including one that animal, did bro. look a lot less like just a natural that rock formation you. and more like a probe or even a lander. Although the consensus is that, as with most similar cases, if there is lost technology on Antarctica, it's almost certainly human-made. Again, there is a human lost. presence there, albeit small. So there's also the chance of materials going astray. More specifically, and again in 2018, there was a lot of attention given to a large UFO that looked on satellite imagery like it had been purposely buried in the snow. However, this particular alien spaceship turned out to be a German research station. Since that, that station is only Germany's intended to be now, used... Bro. My bad. I just never knew this is Germany's new flag. Was that just like for a boat? Or something like that. It turned out to know, be bro. a German research that's station. Kind of Since that, that station is, is only flag, intended bro, to be used in the summer, it's known and expected for it to be covered over during the winter, which is why it was built with tall markers designed to stick out from the ground to let returning researchers know where their base is. It's easy to see how these markers could so have been misidentified, but there was certainly no alien presence in this case. In fact, it's a known problem that spotting <coughs> any... That <coughs> Like, bro, Antarctica look beautiful, bro. Bro, this is what it, this is what Antarctica looked like at night. That's dope, bro. I didn't even know Antarctica had nighttime, bro. I thought Antarctica was always, it was always the, the sun was always out over there. I thought that's what it was, bro. I never heard of a let's have a good night in Antarctica. You know what I'm saying? Like I've never heard nothing like that before. But that's dope, bro. I would want to live in Antarctica just to see this, bro. Imagine just smoking a blunt or, or a joint and you look at... What? That's a beautiful view right there, bro. And it's cold out there, bro, so you can really hotbox. You know what I'm saying? What up, bro? ...thing with accuracy on Antarctica, Antarctica from above like is extremely bro, difficult. When aerial photography is studied for military purposes, it takes special high-level training to correctly discern what those images are truly showing. It's difficult to tell what things are, how big they are, and even what shape they have without the proper experience. So whenever a UFO claim is made based on these means of detection, there's always a straightforward counter-argument for those who are less convinced or for those who flat out disagree. Consider too that Google Maps doesn't even offer an especially high resolution of Antarctica. And it's perhaps easy to see how mistakes can be made and how conclusions drawn can be incorrect. But again, I'm telling y'all, bro. Think? How valuable I, are bro. tools such as satellite imagery in terms of enabling the. Bro, I'm telling y'all, bro. Antarctica is a secret place for all the stuff that we have, like, theories on, bro. Guarantee you go to Antarctica, bro. If you find a way to get in Antarctica, if you become a scientist or become a spy for another. Whatever you got to do to go over there to get in Antarctica, bro. You know what I'm saying? If you, I'm guaranteed, bro, you're going to see technology and, 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 and alien stuff, bro. And you're going to see crazy looking animals, bro. You're going to see all that stuff there, bro. Because I ain't going to lie, bro. If it was me, I'm hiding everything in Antarctica. Because nobody could go there. The only people there is freaking scientists and, and, and military, bro. Y'all don't, don't think that's a little weird, bro? Why is only, how come only scientists and military can be there, bro? How come we can't have no normal civilian that's employed by your local super a store you know what i'm saying food for less or something why can't he live in antarctica and y'all pay him to live out there because nobody else live out there it's too damn cold so i didn't i didn't even know people lived out there but apparently scientists some of them actually live out there because they working on something 
You know what I'm saying? Bro, y'all can't tell me y'all not using y'all brain cells to put this together, bro. They hiding something. To instantly bro. go UFO hunting anywhere in the world. Let us know your they opinion. Away from the overhead surveillance, though, and there have been some more concrete otherworldly <clears throat> discoveries on Antarctica as well. The icy south is and has been home to many important meteorites. The Meteors even on that They come in straight in. I didn't even know that, Trust bro. I've got Ooh, this might be copyright music, Nothing. bro. I hope not. These flying objects truly hmm. and has been home to many important meteorites. These flying objects truly do come Wait, from Wait, there's sand in Antarctica, bro. Am I tripping? These flying objects truly do come from different planets, including the notorious Allen Hills 84001 meteor, which was found in Antarctica back in the 1980s. It's generally believed to have come from Mars, but it also remains unique compared to all of our other Martian rock samples. For a while, so it's not it was Mars. part of a controversy about whether or not it contained fossilized Martian bacteria. Ultimately, there's been no conclusive evidence that it does, although the Allen Hills rock arguably stands as more of an indicator of what else might be hiding in Antarctica as well. There could be many more Tell and me, similar bro. meteors or other fascinating cosmological relics under the ice waiting to be discovered. With this as we a know this stuff already, it's bro. maybe we again have to. unsurprising bro, look, that UFO. Antarctica should attract so many UFO theories. But of course, our planet doesn't have just one icy realm. Lie. This, this might the be Arctic the Circle in the north is far more populated. <laughs> you know and more people means more opportunities to see and report. Bro, look at Antarctica, bro. Bro, this place is beautiful, bro. I'm not even going to lie to you guys, bro. But it's kind of scary because you can literally see like the end of the world standing on uh, in Antarctica, bro. You're basically in space. You know what I'm saying? Well, Obviously, you ain't but y'all know what I mean, bro. UFOs you know what to saying? begin with. Meanwhile, Google sleuths have triggered debate once again, spotting things on satellite images, such as that? one still of a strange drone-like object that some said looked a lot like a ship from Star Wars. Bizarrely, there was even a thought that the object looked something like Jesus Christ <coughs> rising into the air. On the other hand, many thought that the that some said looked a lot like a ship from Star. What y'all think this is? Oh, I see it now. I see it now. I see why they say it looked like God raising up because the arms. I see it now. That's crazy, bro. But this picture look animated. I ain't gonna lie. Bizarrely, there was even a thought that the object looked something like Jesus Christ rising into the air. On the other hand, many argued that it could more simply be a seabird in flight with its wings pointed downwards. Elsewhere in northern Canada, and some pilots bird. recounted seeing a UFO over Nunavut. Strangely, it again happened in 2018. There were multiple credible like witnesses of the object, which supposedly changed color while flying through the air. It was reported to the authorities, but the pilots also deemed that the phenomenon probably wasn't anything too concerning. Nor did they blame did aliens, they build that? instead figuring that their colorful something was more likely another meteorite. We have a history of this kind of occurrence too. Although That's definitely crazy. one of the Caught strangest of all time also happened within the Arctic Circle in 1908, the Tunguska event. The Tunguska event the was what? a massive circle in 1908, the Tunguska event. The Tung the, Tim the Timguska. I've never heard a name like that a day in my life. Guska. I've never heard of that ass name before, bro. Where is so where is that from? In the Arctic Circle in 1908, the Tunguska event. The Tunguska event was a massive explosion Guska. witnessed by very few people because of how isolated the region is. Out in the middle <clears> of <throat> Siberia, those who did see it, however, saw a huge explosion that destroyed tens of millions of surrounding trees. An entire forest Damn. was devastated by something that was truly not of this world and did fly through the sky to reach us. The scientific consensus is that Tunguska was caused by a meteor airburst, where a large asteroid explodes while in Earth's atmosphere, or indeed while in the atmosphere of any planet, if the conditions are right. A similar event happened again in Russia back in 2013. The Chelyabinsk meteor. But there's something about Tunguska in particular. What's up with these names, man? The Chilyabinsk meteor. <coughs> the Chilyas. 
A similar event happened again in Russia <coughs> back in 2013. The Chelyabinsk meteor. The but Chilyabinsk. there's something about Tunguska in particular that continues <coughs> to capture the imagination. <coughs> Perhaps because it happened so long ago and records are scarce. Perhaps because it's been covered time and time again in fiction. Bro, I'm not gonna lie. This thing is hitting me. You know what I'm saying? Damn. Maybe because when records are scarce. Perhaps because it's been covered time and time again in fiction. Maybe because Tunguska is just the ultimate meeting between Tunguska space, and ice, Chilis. and the unknown. And so, from some blistering space rock to some tantalizing Antarctic aerial images, those are the most bizarre UFOs discovered at the edge of the world. Hey man, what y'all think, bro? I think I've always thought UFOs was in that uh, in that article, bro. You can ask you can ask my dad, you can ask my brother. I always said. I think they might be hiding that stuff because it's the perfect place to hide something. If nobody can go there but special personnel, you know what I'm saying? I bro, you I'm just saying, you gotta be dumb. You know what I'm saying? To not think something crazy is going on if only scientists and military can be there. You know what I'm saying? There there's ha there has to be a reason why that is. It's not, oh, it's cause it's too dangerous. Why y'all there? If it's too dangerous, bro, we should just blow up that side of Earth. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, I don't know, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments, bro. I personally think that UFOs are in Antarctica. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if we captured them. I don't know if we're trying to capture them. I don't know if we're trying to... Bro, I think a lot of this stuff, a lot of theories like like uh, Atlantis, all that stuff, bro. I think if it could be anywhere in this world, Antarctica would be the perfect place for all of that to be. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. But yeah, man. I'll see you on the next one.